Salutations and welcome to the farm. Well, in an earlier video, Papa Jim and I showed you the best way that we have found to store our excess eggs, and that is preparing them as an omelet, so to speak, and storing them in these zipper bags in the freezer. Now, one of the reasons we like them so much is because then once they thaw, we can just pop them right into a pan of boiling water, and the boiling water steams them, does all the cooking, We've already got our cheese and our salt in here, and it does all the work, and I can tend to other things. And when they're done, they almost have the texture of the sous vide eggs. If you've enjoyed the sous vide eggs before, really light, fluffy, airy, really, really good. Better than scrambled eggs in a skillet. Doing them this way, they're light and fluffy, and they're really delicious. So one thing that I like to do is I like to prepare ahead of time, and like I said, we're doing this mostly for our egg storage because we're having a surplus of eggs. But there was a time back when we had four small children at home that I would prepare up to a month at a time, meals ahead, have everything in the freezer, grab and go ready. I could get everything on the table in much shorter time because I'd already done all my prep work. And this is the same for those of you who enjoy camping. This is a great trick if you like to go camping. So everybody close your eyes, close your eyes. And just imagine with me. That we're not here in the kitchen at the farm but we've gone camping and the fire is going and we've had our morning cup of coffee and the kids are up and the squirrels are chirping and the birds are singing it's a beautiful camping day and then you hear mom I'm hungry mom I'm hungry mom I'm hungry well if you've done your work ahead of time and you've got these that you can just when you're ready to go camping you'll pull these out of the freezer Stick them however in your stick them in your camper fridge or in your ice box. What do you ice call it? Chest. In your ice chest, whatever you're keeping your food while you're going camping, and you've got these ready. And this is what you do: you get a pot of water going. We're gonna go ahead and get ours. It's already been boiling, so it won't take time to bring it back up to speed. But you're just going to take. Let me center this a little bit without burning myself. You're just going to take a pot of boiling water, take your little egg concoction that's all ready, and you just set it in there, just like that. Now, if you're over an open flame, you want to make sure that the bags obviously don't melt or anything. You can kind of fold them into each other, but that's it. You just put them in that boiling water. You let them do their work. They're going to steam for 15, 20 minutes. The cheese is going to melt. The eggs are going to cook. And right now we have our tortillas warming over in our little convection oven. And so when these are done in about 15 to 20 minutes, we'll come back and we'll show you the beautiful egg burritos that you can make just like that. So we'll be back. Well, about 20 minutes have gone by and you can see our little packets here are full of steam and our eggs have been steamed. We've warmed up our tortillas, and so we're gonna be able to make our breakfast burritos now. One thing you wanna make sure is you've got something that you can kinda of grab these out of the hot water so that you don't burn your fingers. You just give them a second. Cool down a little bit. It'll cool down just a little bit. But meanwhile, we've warmed up our tortillas in the toaster oven. And so now all you want to do is you can just very simply open up the zipper on your bag and just pop that right out into the middle of your tortilla. Perfectly cooked, the cheese is melty, everything is delicious. You can flip it around the way you want. You can add some salsa or taco sauce of your choice. I like pepper. You're gonna add a little pepper. Some taco sauce. Medium. Now granted, I am going to admit, we've just got the regular sized tortillas. We don't have burrito sized tortillas on hand yeah. today. So it's gonna be a tight fit. But you can see how beautifully the eggs puffed up and fluffed up. How's that gonna roll for you, baby? Wait, put down. I'll be 
be right back. Uh oh, what do we got I here? know that the burrito is not going to be enough for you for breakfast, so I made you some beautiful crinkle cut French fries, just like we used to get when we lived out in California. So you can enjoy those, but go ahead and try your burrito. I'm going to start getting my burrito ready. How are the eggs? They're fluffy. They're fluffy, they're delicious. The cheese is right in there with them. Bam, just like that egg burrito. Look okay. at that. Now if you want to, you can add more cheese at this stage. You can add anything you want. You might sure, want burrito. to take, take that in and see if you twist it down to that. Edge. There you go. And get this baby to roll up into a burrito. <laughs> My tortilla is crunchy. We used to have a really nice little um, flat tray that we could put on our hot plate and warm up our tortillas, but it kind of got funky. I'm gonna get some fries and rip, but I wanna try my burrito. It's hot. So there you have it, friends. The best breakfast burritos. The easiest way to make them when you're in a pinch. Now imagine if we really were out camping these would have just been cooking in our pot and Papa Jim here, he would have taken all of our littles out to go fishing and hiking and bike riding. And one of the littles would have hooked his pants with the fishing hook by now. And a couple times the kids would have throttled each other and tried to shove each other down a cliff and mama would be on her second adult beverage. So we have many um, interesting memories of camping and I wish we would have had this recipe to make simple breakfast burritos when the boys were little, because this really would have simplified things. Mm -hmm. So until you join us again here on the farm, thank you so much for joining us. Let us know what you think of your breakfast burritos if you prepare them this way. And until we see you again, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.